Hi, I'm Paige, I'm 18 and I got diagnosed with mitral valve damage when I was seven and I started getting the infusion a year ago, so when I was 17. I'm studying at Fitirea in Porirua and I'm studying a Bachelor of Nursing Pacific. The first time I had the infusion, I was quite scared just because with the normal penicillin injection that you get monthly, it's quite sore. I would say it's a lot more convenient for everyone, including nurses, because the infusion, they only have to see their patient once every three months. And also, as someone who got the penicillin injection monthly for, I think, just over a decade, it was really, really traumatic for me and my family just because I hated the injection so, so much and it was like a fight for a good two years every single day. Every single time I had to get it, I would bawl to my mum and I'd beg her not to make me go and I hated my nurse and I hated the hospital and it was just, not just for me, but for my family as well, having to push me to do it because it hurts a lot less um, because they numb you. Like most of the time, I never even feel it going in. And although it's a little bit scary at first because you're getting something in your stomach, in the long run, you don't have to worry about anything for three months. You don't have to worry about that added pain every single month. You don't have to worry about, oh, I don't want to go because you don't feel it when you get it done. I am 10 years old. The first time I got rheumatic fever when I was seven years old. Well, I went to the hospital and then my doctor told me I had rheumatic fever. It felt like my legs was getting stabbed over and over again. I get one injection every month and then I changed it to I get one every three months. The three month one because then I don't have to worry about going every month and because my mum doesn't have to drive there over and over again every each month. At first we were not certain about it um, but over time it was just getting too difficult to do the 28 day um, injection so we figured let's give it a go through the stomach and Recovery is just so much easier. Um, we have less visits and less sick days. And uh, yeah, it seems like he's bouncing back quite quickly after the, the new injections now. I got diagnosed with rheumatic fever over five years ago. I was in hospital for six weeks. So um, if I get stripped out again, um, there's a possibility that um, my um, rheumatic fever could come back worse than I could need surgery around my heart. So I used to get 12 of them a year, so I used to get them in my bottom. Yeah, it sounds funny, but um, they hurt. I like um, the one I get in my stomach, so I only need to get it four times a year rather than 12 times a year. I missed out on, um, on a couple of things because after I got it, it was really hard to walk. Couldn't sit down properly. So that was like that for three days, but um, when I get it in here, it's more like the same thing with my bum, but in here I can tolerate it more. And I can just sleep how I usually sleep, so I find it easier to cope with. I've recently had a patient that we could never get them on the 28th day into the hospital. And it used to be like two hours of negotiating. This kid came on his first appointment. Yes, we did have the negotiation. It took me one hour to get him to do his injection, but once he's had it, it's like, I like it this way, I'll come back. We've started doing it in the community, whereas I can go to the school now and give it or go to the workplace if there's a room to do it, which makes it so much more handy. I've had a mum who's got six kids, cannot get to the GP. She's finding it really hard. She said, can I have this injection? Her next injection, I'll give it to her in a home next week. And then she goes to work in the afternoon. So it just fits into their lifestyle. She they're not worried about this injection every month. It's the buy-in of the families as well, the change in their lifestyle.